It does not otherwise characterize this as a war of the West versus Russia, or democracy versus autocracy. It is not. Our approach to the China relationship will be determined by our interests and our values. The relationship which really had to play catch up was the one between India and Australia. And I think today that catch up is, is happening. As we record this special edition of Low Institute Conversations, Russian tanks are rolling into eastern Ukraine. I heard the words that Putin said and I knew immediately that this was a declaration of war. How could they possibly believe that they could subjugate a country the size of France? Therefore, the world must now show strength. The strength is required to finally put an end to this oppression. The danger of American politics is any idiot can get elected president, and very often does. We've had a two and a half very difficult years in our relationship with China. Diplomacy is about communication. The misunderstanding uh, of a lot of every Solomon Islands is that aid has to look like a concrete building, has to be a bridge, has to be a wolf. Priorities should be set by the Pacific. They should be free from coercion. Investment should be of high quality. Where do you personally and where does the nation get the strength, the courage and the determination to win again freedom for Ukraine? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for the question. You are part of a national security foreign affairs uh, landscape that uh, civil organisations like yours are very important. Mr President, thank you for speaking to the Institute this evening. Thank you for your attention, thank you for the support to Australia and glory to Ukraine.